ready? Sure, why not? Hi, friends. Hi. I'm Maddie. I'm Kristen. And this is the We Share Needles podcast. Yay. <laughs> Episode 18. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to try not to move my chair because it's real creaky. <laughs> so you're going to hear a bunch of... <laughs> it's terrible. <sighs> Episode 18. You know what we need to do? We need to film like an intro so we don't have to like... No. Like, no, like a like... This is who we are, because I don't want to say it every time. <laughs> I'm Kristen. That's Maddie. We're friends. That's it. Just friends. Best friends. You can just clip that and put it in every video. I'm Kristen. That's Maddie. Sure. We're friends. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. Well, hi if you're new. Hello and welcome back if you're not. We are just two best friends who love to knit. This is a yeah. knitting podcast. It Most is. of the time. Mostly. <laughs> We're never in the same place multiple times in a row. Oh my gosh. We yeah. always film in new locations. <laughs> this one's brand new to all of you. This is my office. Yay! We stuck up our sign and covered my desk in yarn uh, because my air conditioner is still um, not working well at my house, but it should be fixed in the next couple of days. So then we'll have some normalcy again. But now we didn't want to be 85 degrees talking about our yarn. That didn't sound fun. And I just don't have the energy to be chaotic at home. So... <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> Welcome to Farmers. Um, <laughs> we do that constantly around the office. Uh, you know what? I, I do that for the We Are Knitters, you know? The yeah. We Are Knitters. Every time I see you, I go bum, 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 bum. Every time I work with my mom and dad here at the office, so we'll like walk by each other's offices or something, and one of us will go, We Are Farmers, and then we'll all finish the song. It's dumb. I love it. Goodness. Oh, goodness gracious. So I'm, I'm drinking a boba. Let's talk about our drinks oh, yes. real quick. Mine, I, um, my boba order from our local tea shop is a pineapple milk tea with green tea, classic tapioca, and mango jelly stars on ice. And I love it. Mine usually is very similar to that, but I'm just not feeling sugary. Well, I am drinking sugar, but not that sugary because mm -hmm. mine's usually really sugary. Really I get the same thing, but frozen and with yogurt flavor. But then basically the same thing. Yeah. And it's so good. So Super yummy. yummy. But today I'm drinking on a Maddie Made coffee. Maddie Roasted coffee? Mm -hmm. Maddie Roasted Maddie Made coffee. It's a Costa Rican. Made by Maddie Coffee. <laughs> Why do I say Maddie Made when your name is made, made by, by Maddie? Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't that. know us, our links are always down below in the description box for our personal channels and Instagrams and then... Our personal yeah. YouTubes are really only active during Vlogmas. Yeah. Um, I occasionally think about making mine more active, but then I don't. Um, I'm really active on Instagram. Love my Instagram, Instagram stories. And I'm a new pattern designer, so I have one pattern on Ravelry. More to come, maybe. She's <laughs> not new to pattern writing. She's new to pattern publishing. Yeah, new to selling them <laughs> on Ravelry. Exactly. I've been writing patterns for a long time for my local yarn store, uh, but, which is Arkansas Yarn Co. We talk about them a lot too. They are linked below. Yes. So that's the beginning spiel. That is the beginning spiel. I am so low energy today, so we're hoping that this is going to be okay. It's going to be great. But um, we're going to just go ahead and jump into the knitting. I've been showing on this one boba for like 10 minutes. Like it won't go away. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so icky. That makes me so uncomfortable. <laughs> but okay. You good? I'm great. So should we talk about what we're knitting on? Yeah. I'm. Let me grab the first one. I cast on... For Scrappy Sunday, some Scrappy DK socks. Um, Y'all know I'm obsessed with my stress and it's advent calendar that I got. Um, so I'm just holding a full skin I had in my stash of stress and it's eucalyptus on her favorite base with um, the other colors, not in order. I'm just pulling them randomly out of the bag and knitting a couple rows, doing a, strap, a Scrappy sock and it's making me really happy. So that's the first one. I started both of these this morning. That's the first one. And then I'm on like the second color, I think, on the second. I only had one size three needle, so I'm switching it back and forth between socks. I've ordered another because I caught the DK bug that everyone else has right now. So I ordered um, more needle tips for my, I have the Chagu mini twist interchangeable set for sock needles. Um, I ordered another set of threes and then I ordered two 16 inch threes because I'm starting to think I'm gonna like the two needles better than Magic Loop from my limited experience, especially if I decide to knit DK socks for my niece and nephew, which I'm thinking I may do. Yes. I think they'd be fun, and then I don't have to do it magic loop. So, that's the long version of what I'm knitting on. Just threw it on the ground. Eh! 
just threw it on the ground. Wow. Every time someone says it, I have to say that. <laughs> right? Um, I think I have a side string needle in here, a nine inch, if you wanted to. I think I have one too, and I could not find it. I looked all over. I know I have a fixed three and a fixed four somewhere yeah. that I bought for like gloves and stuff, and I cannot find them. So whatever, I've already ordered them. I, if I knit today, <laughs> will be knitting on a sock. This is on a nine inch circular size one, which is our standard sock when she's not being crazy and knitting DK on a three. Um, we are nine inch circular knitters and we're very enthusiastically nine inch circular needle knitters. That was a, that's a hard one. That was a lot. Let's not say that again though. Um, and I'm knitting on some Arkansas Yarn Co. Halloween type colors, which I'll talk more about in whips, but this is what Ooh. I bought so far. So if I knit today, it will be starting the cuff of a sock. Um, let me look for this thingy. What else you got? That's what I'm knitting on. So now I'm chewing boba. This is a bad drink for podcasting. I'll stop drinking it, I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. It's delicious though. Mm -hmm. Worth it. I'll finish that after the episode. Anywho. Um, when you get a chance, could you grab my water bottle out of my bag? No rush. I can try. <laughs> um, okay. So do we want to just jump into it? Yeah, let's go. I don't have any FOs. <gasps> what? Is that right? No. Heavens no. You have to have an FO. What are you talking about? You have no FOs? I can't think of any. You've not finished nothing in two weeks. This is... This is baloney, you guys. This might be the first and only time this has ever happened. Right, because last time I finished the shawl and the vanilla is the new black socks. You finished nothing? I worked a lot, but <laughs> I finished nothing, right? Really? This is a size three, nine inch if you want. I'm really confused. Thank you, that's awesome. I, I didn't even think about it till this moment. I didn't finish anything. <gasps> Okay. No, babe. Okay. <laughs> what have I been doing? Because none of my whips have that much work on them. We we had Zoom at night, but that was just two days. And I I have like an almost finished object, but yeah, like that's one needs true. a toe, no. and the other needs and they, they both, both need heels. heels. But you're waiting. So you did stop class. And you did do stop class. So yeah, that probably that yeah. That I've tracks. been doing a lot of pattern designing, so I have a couple of I can't talk about. Um. I guess my knitting's gone into that. I have lots of, I have a lot of newly started cast-ons and lots of planned cast-ons, but I have finished nothing, so. Yikes. <laughs> Hate to call you out, but. No, like, it's what interesting. I didn't realize. <laughs> I told Kristen last night when we were talking, like, planning for the podcast today, picking our <laughs> random location and all that, um, that, like, I just didn't feel like the last two weeks even happened. Like, it was so, like, weirdly fast. Like, I know the time passed, I know it's been two weeks, but I don't feel like I was present for it. So I guess I haven't knit much. Life's been kind of crazy, but whatever. Here I am. Knitting. Knitting now. Doing your best. I'll finish these DK socks <clears throat> freaking today. They're going so fast, so. Well, I, I have three finished objects, I think, is all I have. But they check my Ravelry and make sure I didn't forget, but you can uh, go ahead. I have three um, that they were half objects last time, so. I've got these socks. I think these are new. A new cast off, a new bind off? I don't remember I don't what we talked about know. last time. Yeah, I think I, I think I was on the heel the last time and now I'm finished. These are the Jelly Roll socks by Mara Catherine Briner, who is working on getting all her patterns back up on a different site because she's chosen to remove her patterns yes. from Ravelry. That's what we so, discovered. Um, you can get them soon. This is a paper pattern. I think Maddie said it was like six bucks. I don't remember. Five or six. Yeah. I think I got it on a sale maybe. I don't know. But I did it in the Mandy's Makings um, Share a Pair Set Military Family, which Maddie had purchased for, because she's in a military family. <laughs> and she's like, who shall I share it with? And I said, me. And so I got it. <laughs> and they're done and they fit me. And so I'm really happy and I'm really cute. shocked. This time I have three finished pairs of socks and they're all for me. Yay! I never do that. As it so should be. I yeah. never do that. I love that. This is my second FO. These are the Butterfly Kisses socks from the Crazy Sock Lady. Last time I was at this stitch marker here, um, which is from Bessel Stitch Co. The little lemonade stitch marker, so cute. Um, these I knit, again, I knit all my socks on nine inch circs. I've not completed socks not on nine inch circs and always cuffed down. So 
Um, these are, this was the, it doesn't have a name, it right? It doesn't have a name. No. It's just a collab that Mountain State Stitches and Blush Yarns did. Yes. And it's beautiful. I love knitting with blush yarns. I know you got her advent this year, right? I did. Yeah. I'm excited to get that. I also ordered us some blush yarns today. Ooh. So <laughs> yes, this is a beautiful sock. I've knit this pattern once before already. Um, it's a really easy pattern. I really liked it. And actually I've only knit two crazy sock lady patterns and I've knit them both twice Yeah. and I love them both. So I probably should get more. I like a pattern sock. This one likes to knit vanilla most of the time. I really enjoy the Crazy Sock Lady patterns, though when I do knit a pattern, because she usually has fairly short and memorizable repeats that still look interesting. It doesn't just look like a ribbed sock. Like, that has a lot of interest, but it's less than a 10 row repeat, so it's memorizable to me. Or is it like 10 or 12 row repeat, something like that? I think it's 10. Mm -hmm. um, so on this sock, they she has you do a row of knitting and then a row of pearls, giving you this like <laughs> cute little bump. But on this one, I was dumb and I did it wrong. And so now I have, you can't even really tell in the camera, but you see that little ridge of the navy cuff? I did it wrong. I'm really mad at myself. So that's okay. I was already like halfway done with the leg when I saw it and was like, I'm not gonna frog. I don't do that. So I am so sorry. I can't help but move. This chair is so loud. Okay. Um, <laughs> these are my last soft FOs. This is the Dolicanium Sock by Dina Stelly. It is a free pattern on Ravelry. Um, it is a toe up pattern and I did change it. So I just literally reversed the instructions and was like, no, I'm gonna we'll do it the right first. way. Yeah. <laughs> we are nine inch surf and cuff down snobs. Like we're hardcore, we, we go hard in the paint for our team. I don't yeah. know if I made sense cause I don't do sports, but look how pretty this sock is. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's real good. <laughs> um, the yarn is Monocell Uruguay and the color Locura Fluo. And this is just a black um, pigment and fiber from Hobby Lobby. All of my blockers that I've shown so far are from Knitting Left. Um, and I don't, I'm not sure if she's going to make blockers or not. I can't tell anymore. She's making regular blockers, but not the carved from what I can tell. Just like a flat, uh, solid wood, not flat. They're all flat. Um, that's kind of the impression I've yeah. gotten. So those are all my socks that I finished. I had half a pair of each finished. So really I only finished three socks. Still more than um, me. Still good. So then before we transition into whips, next segment, um, I do have a half FO that I finished during our Zoom call yesterday. Mm -hmm. Got a hoe. Got a hoe. And Huh? <laughs> you say it. If you're going to talk about hoes, I want to know. <laughs> yeah, it's knitting related. I was watching Crafty Christina's podcast um, this morning, and, <laughs> and one of she was talking about one of her hoes. She had finished one sock, and she said, it's just a regular schmegular, no problems hoe. And I laughed so hard. <laughs> Regular, regular, no problem. No problem, problem. Oh. I can't say that about any of my hoes. My hoes got problems. Um, but, you know, same. Because before that, she had just told the story of her oopsie gusset. If you guys don't follow Crafty Christina on Instagram oh and gosh. YouTube, she's adorable and hilarious and I love her. <laughs> but she knit a sock and, like, did the gusset decreases on the wrong sides and then put the toe at the wrong angle so the sock just looks Was it so patterned? Because I was thinking, like, why wouldn't you just reverse your toe? Like, wouldn't you just change the angle of your toe if you already knew about she your gusset? She didn't know. She oh. didn't know. The, the gusset was one mistake and the toe was another. Like, she messed up the toe separately. Uh. So it was just, okay, it was like her second sock. You can't you can't mess up a gusset. Like, you can't. Well, you just fix your toe. But her gusset was, like, pointing in instead of out. Like, what? a gusset decrease should go... <laughs> guess, do you have a gusset here? Yeah. So, gusset decreases should be like this. Hers went like this. <laughs> because she did the... I didn't notice that in her sock. She I was reversed. Like, Why did she do that to her toe? So, um, she reversed the SSK and it together, and then her toe was like that. Where, like, the... Ugh. No, it makes me so uncomfortable. I even messaged her. I said, that makes me so uncomfortable. She said it was a whoopsie. And I was just like, I just, I even sent it to you. Like, I'm like, I'm not talking trash. I promise. I just, that is like, and I had heard the story, you know? so I knew about it. Anyway, Ugh. she's adorable. Check out Crafty Christina. But um, I can't stop thinking about a regular, schmegular, no nonsense hoe or a no, no problems, problems hoe. hoe. 
Makes could me not so really happy. Cannot right. <laughs> this is my hoe, and actually, it is regular. <laughs> it's regular, 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 no, no problem. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, not true, because it's special. This is going to be... <laughs> that doesn't mean it's a problem. <laughs> but it's not regular. It's a special hoe. Because this is uh, my pattern. I did it. Look at me go. Yay! This is Arkansas Yarn Co. Yarn. It was her last year's Halloween colors. This is Booberry. This is Monster Mash. These are two minis, the orange and the black. Um, what is going on there? Hello? <laughs> 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 Maybe he does have problems. <laughs> I'll turn it to this side. Um, so um, they're just regular minis that she had that I got on her. She did like a free mini Monday with any purchase of like, what was it, 50 bucks? Yeah. You get a free mini. So I got two. And, you know. So guess how much money she spent. <laughs> it was more than that. But anyway, <laughs> I did. Um, I got four. <laughs> I did this chart um, on Chartminder online. It's, it's a free site that you can do. You can pay for it for extra perks, but it's not hard. I'm still going to duplicate stitch stems on, but I did these cute little jack-o'-lanterns and I'm going to release it for the spooky stitches smell, which we're gonna talk about a little about. bit later, but I did a, I'm gonna post this pattern so I can talk about it all I want. I did a rolled cuff. I am gonna write the pattern for a standard cuff and a long, um, leg, but I just wanted to get it done to be able to show it. So I don't know, maybe I'll include instructions for all of it. I don't know. I'm crazy. Then just on a whim on the zoom call after doing the heel flap and guess it, but I did this little like check checkers it's so vibe cute. down here, mm -hmm. which it was just like a, I'm going to do it. Why not? So, and then I did my regular toe. So I will go ahead and send this to anyone who wants it. I will put it on Ravelry once I learn from her how to do that. Yeah, we'll do that. So yeah, if you don't have Ravelry and you want it, you can email the podcast email and I'll send you a copy when it's done. I'm, I haven't finished the PDF. So once I do, it's free. Y'all have it. Um, because really it's just a vanilla sock and a 10 row chart that I sketched. So not hard. Design color work patterns. It's fun. Um, <laughs> we could actually probably, since it's free, we could put it in Google Drive and link it down below and then people could just grab it. I can do it for you. I'm old. <laughs> we I can do that. Don't learn Google Drive in school. <laughs> we'll figure it out. It'll be instructions somewhere. Yes. I'm clear. <laughs> so that's what I'm working on too. So this is, I'm working on the second one. This took me like zero time. I started it on what, Thursday? Yeah. And today's Sunday. Yeah. She finished it yesterday. So... That's my first whip. You want to go into whip since I've been yeah. talking and I want to rest? Sure. Sounds <laughs> good. Um, whips, whips, whips. I'll just go through them. I have several. One, my first is on mod knitting whip, which I think is really fun. Um, I, if you guys don't follow Chevy Rail, you should. But she posted a tutorial of her um, woven baskets, coiled baskets. And in the tutorial, she mentioned that you could do it with Walmart sacks as the center. And I bought into that so fast. So all of my Walmart sacks are now in my craft room. I grabbed just some random stash yarn, just acrylic, and then there's some extra Walmart sacks in there. So I've been making this little coil basket. This was like one night of work and then I put it down. It's super easy. Um, you can find her tutorial just by looking for like Chevy Roll coil basket. It's perfect. So that's my kind of, it's a non-knitting whip, but I really like it. I think it'll be really cute. I'll make it about the size of this basket I have it in and have little whips in it, little sock. I love it. It's very sturdy. So I love that. That makes me really happy. Love a new craft. Piling things into my bag as I talk about them. Then these guys, ooh, these, um, I'm going to talk about this in acquisitions because it's new. Um, I cast on a ripple bralette. I think in last yeah, week's podcast. You did. You counted to like 200. Yeah. <laughs> I've never had a good bit. I cast on just in the three by three instead of starting with one by one. I knit um, several inches on a two and a half and then I went up to a four, which is what the pattern has you do. I just didn't change ribbing when I changed needles. Um, so that's that guy so far. I Not like the flaring. It's, it's cute. Yeah. It's really like squished up on the needles, but yeah, I think it'll be good. The color's beautiful. I really like it. This one's just for me. Um, so I haven't put a ton of work into it, but that's some of my knitting. It's ribbing. It takes a while. It's Malabrigo Indiacita. Yes. And Malabrigo Sock, right? Yeah. How'd you know that? Because I had to read it last time. 
incredible. <laughs> I've got a photographic memory over there. <laughs> I don't even have to remember my own stuff anymore. Um, what other whips do I have? These are some socks. I cast on just some vanilla socks the other day. Um, just did the ribbing and have not knit on them otherwise. But these are Felici. Beautiful. I got the colorway. Sorry, it's on my Ravelry. These I just did something different for the cuff. I was just playing around and I did these little twist stitches. You can kind of see them. How there's like little loops over some of the ribbing. And I thought it looked really fun. Fun and festive. I don't know festive for what. But those are just cuffs. I've done no other work. But I have them ready for whenever I go to movies. So I have movie knitting. So they're in this bag. My movie knitting bag by Mountain State Stitches. What else? What else? What else? These guys have been a long standing whip. These have been on my needles since the beginning of May. They're Georgia socks using Arkansas Yarn Co. in the colors Rock the Boat, Dating a Royal, and the red is Mustang Sally. These guys are so cute. This one just needs a toe, and then I'm gonna cut in both the heels in the class I have next week. And I love them. These are for my mom. So, so cute. My dad and I both have coordinating socks because these are the farmer's insurance colors. So that's adorable. I love them. Not much to talk about because they've been on the needles forever. You've all seen them a billion times and you know I love the Georgias. But I really like those. They're very cute. All of my socks are on US 1, 2.25 millimeter. I cast on 64 stitches for myself, typically do 20 rows of two by two ribbing and <laughs> then do magic loop for the toes and after that heels if I need to. That's exactly what we both do all the time. I really feel like we should make a, our vanilla socks video too. Yeah. Your hair looks so good. Thank you. I just noticed in the camera and I was like, oh my God, friend. It, looks, it feels good today. It looks good. I have all my vanilla sock patterns written up for the classes. I need to just pop them on Ravelry for free downloads. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna do that soon. But yeah, that's kind of, I always forget to like say how I do my socks because it's the same every time. So I'll always answer if you comment, but that's it. It's the same. She also, when she knows what she's saying and she's going to say it again and it's been done a lot, she says it really fast. Oh, did I say it so fast? Yes. That's why I laughed. I was like, remember when you're like, I'm going to practice talking slower. But if she said it before, she just, just comes naturally. I'm a salesperson. Now I can't help imagine it. imagine our French viewers. I'm sorry. <laughs> I use a US <laughs> 2.25 millimeter. I cast on 64. No, you're fine. We'll do, do a, we'll do a video. 20 rows of two by two ribbing. Two by two ribbing. And then I knit vanilla. And I do a hill pop and gusset somewhere in there. This whip came out of hibernation today. Mm, doesn't it look good right near my face where it should where be? Where it will be. Where it should be. This right is, by my face. This is my loose I so. love this. Hold on one second. What is going on here? How is that happening? Because you're knitting it this way, right? Yep. Back and forth. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. Creak, 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 creak. This is Rainbow Bright from Arkansas Yarn Co. in fluff, which is mohair, and in her worsted base. Um, this pattern is the Lusuoso by Knitty Natty. I cast this on last year and then I was going to give it to Kristen for Christmas and the deadline overwhelmed me and I put it down. It's over halfway done and it goes very quickly. I put in this little Boba Tea stitch marker this morning and I've already knit a couple inches. So I'm going to put it out and try and make it like my morning knitting or something. I'm going to work on it some. It makes me really happy and the colors are really good and Kristen should have it. Looks really, really good. I should have it too. No, not in this color at all, but yeah. Lucio so. Love that. The yarns are really cute. I love these window bags where you can just keep the yarn in there. So cute. I love a window bag too. It's so good. I moved this out of hibernation and Ravelry too. So that's how you know I'm serious. It's gonna get knit. I've got two other whips. Sweet. Maybe more? No, just two? Just, I've got three, but I didn't, I'm not gonna show my sweater. Cause I've already shown that last yeah. week and I haven't touched it. My bad. Okay, so. Let's do some <clears throat> So, remember our worsted weight palette cleanser that we were going to do that neither of us did, but I did now? <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm doing it's care. A worsted weight, um, and I don't know the <clears throat> pattern. I can't remember what pattern. No, it is. It's called Autumn Hat. It's a worsted weight brioche hat. I did it in two of the Lion brand colors. You can't even see the colors there, but... One of them is like a tealy color and the other is more of a true blue. And it's not 
cables, but it's cables. It's cables and brioche, which is not really cables. It's very pretty. I have dropped half of it off the needles and tried to pick it up on a decrease row. So Oof. I'm feeling like a master knitter because it actually looks fine. But can you hold this up? Because I'm creaky. So hold that and then just kind of stretch it so they can see those pretty cables. Creaky, creaky, pretty. creaky. That's really nice. This one was supposed to be for Maddie, but then I messed up. So now it's going to be for me and she's going to get the opposite one. You're so silly. So we're going to have matching cute cable brioche hats. They'll both be identical because they're reversible. Brioche is reversible. So you can knit it exactly the same. Just for your own ease. I love it. Oh, oh yeah, this like, thing's fun. Talk about that. Oh yeah, this is the stitch marker I showed on last week. I don't actually think I'm on that row because I dropped all my stitches off of this. <laughs> no. um, I talked about this in last week's acquisitions. This is a, oh, I don't remember the real name. Darn it. I'll put it down below on the bottom of the screen, but it's a sheet something stitch count, stitch row counter, stitch marker row counter. It's all of those things. It does um, all of those things. It's got a cute little flower, which is like my favorite kind, like that. And um, it has rows one through ten basically listed on these little beads. And you link it at the beginning of your round or wherever you're wanting to count. And then when you come to it, you slip down to the next one so you can keep track of your row repeats. It has really helped me with this because this is actually a ten row brioche pattern repeat. There we go. Pattern repeat. And so... It's really helpful because you have to decrease and increase and it's like you decrease on row five and you increase on row 10. So it's been like helping me keep track of where I am. So until all of my stitches fell off, this was really, really helpful. Now I don't actually know which row I left off on. It's just but called, I'll figure it out. It's just called a snag free row counter. The maker is twice sheared sheet. There we go. And it's on Arkansas Yarn Co. Yes, and it's in my um, my bag from Knick Knack Knits. This is my Pokemon socks bag, but I put it in there because I don't really have any like medium sized bags as of right now, but they'll be coming. They're on the way. They're on the way. <laughs> so um, I just stuck it in this little sock bag, um, but n both of the yarns don't fit in there, but I was traveling and I'm like, um, I'm gonna do it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All is well. What am I doing here? Unknown. Uh, that's part of my sweater, so that's kind of nerve-wracking. <laughs> okay, should I do this one? Yeah. You have more too, right? Um, yeah, but mine kind of fit into other segments. Okay. One fits into the cowl and one is our positions. Okay, okay. Look at all my needles. <coughs> I'm hanging I'm around. I'm all grossed. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't get your water bottle for you. Oh, I forgot about it. Oh, this is heavy. Well, it's because of your full water Inside. bottle. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, where's my needles? I'm very confused about what I've got going on here. I'm hoping that it's not falling out. <laughs> it's truly, it's so truly pretty. Open. So I did put this on my shoulders, which I'm not going to no do needle. here. There's no needle because I was trying it on. And I, oh. This is not the needle I was using. This is for my summer team mail that I didn't finish. Why is this so? Is that from the inside? Okay, yeah, it's from the inside. inside. Like, what is going on? This is my summer sorrel. It's just the first color. That's the first chart, all finished. And I tried it on before moving to the second chart, but I was uncomfortable with the sizing of it. I still can't tell if it's right. I feel like it's too big because like I should not be increasing anymore at this point of where it sits on my shoulders. I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, I should just start going down, but the charts have increases. So I'm like, well, maybe it'll be cute. But this is also designed to include like your shoulders and then you're gonna pull it's out a lot of these stitches for sleeve. Yeah. Okay, and it's still too yeah. big, okay. Yeah, cause it's like, yeah, laying it's a little cool. bit clumpy when I put it on. I feel like I would definitely keep increasing for me. Okay, so this is not where it sits. It This neckline is real, real loosey-goosey. Yeah. So it's like that on me. Okay. So like imagine on you, it's gonna be way bigger than that. It's very stretchy. This pattern is really nice, but Lindsay's looks so tiny. And I was like, this, this is looking huge. She was like, no, trust me, it'll be fine. She said something about maybe having to stitch up the neckline because the, the boat shaped neckline is a little uh, risque, Ooh. which I'm actually fine with. Yeah. But, 
I don't know. I don't know about sizing on it. So I'm a little nervous before I start the next chart, but we shall see. I still plan on finishing it. I don't like to frog. This is, before I put it away, Sinful Yarns in the colorway Boo. The pattern is by Wool and Pine Designs. Is that Correct. right? I like the pattern. The pattern's written really well. I'm reading the charts and it's easy enough, but for me, sizing is just so weird. Everything, and the minute I finish anything, I'm always like, I hate it. She tried to tell me she was a product knitter and not a process knitter, but I have never seen her wear her knitted shawls in everyday life. I know because I want to knit the thing, but then I'm like, oh, that yeah. means you're a process you're knitter. A process I want to knit it, I don't want to wear it. Mm -hmm. Except for my socks. I wear my socks. prime gift knitter. Yes. Good, good gift knitter. But that, I think, is the only other whip that I have that is that has been touched. Because I have my love note in there. I was thinking maybe I would knit on the sleeves today, but no. Obviously not. It'll never have sleeves. It'll be sleeveless with I mean, no hair. I mean, it'll be so cute. It's very Arkansas. <laughs> no hair, but no sleeves. Oh, no. It's like a hoodie and shorts. All my brothers <laughs> rock that look all winter. Oh, I love goodness. it. Okay, so you have more whips. I have a couple. Oh my um, gosh, this is so pretty. I got you that, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. <laughs> my little stitch marker, Kristen got me these. I have a set so of pretty. little leaves and I love them. I have one on the other sock too to make me happy. Um, my next one kind of leads into acquisitions. Are we ready for that? Yeah. Cool. Sure. Um, this sock, I got the yarn in the mail and then immediately cast it on. <clears throat> I did a swap with Bravewood Beanery, who also does the Little Wooly Things podcast. Um, her name is Wendelica. She's very sweet and I love her. And we, she also roasts her own coffee. So we each swapped, we roasted a pound of coffee for each other and then swapped yarn and some goodies. Um, I've already been like using my goodie bag, my stuff, so I don't have it all to show. But one of the things she sent me was this yarn, which I love. I'm about to sneeze. Watch you! I didn't oh, no. want to come out because I'm in front of you. <clears throat> You want, what if I just blew on your face? Ew. <laughs> Maybe I won't sneeze. Anyway, this yarn <laughs> is, she sent me two skeins from the same maker. So this is a Blue Moon Fiber Arts in Tigger Tarji. It's 100% Tarji wool, which I have never knit. That is beautiful. It's so pretty. These colors were so me. She did an incredible job. Um, and this one, of course, I've already cast on one and I'm knitting it. It's definitely bigger than a standard fingering weight. If I cared about that more, I would frog back and cast on a 56 instead of a 64 because she's big, but I don't care. So I kept going. It has a heel. It is on a gusset and I love it. And it'll be a house sock if it doesn't fit normal, but I don't think it'll be... I mean, truthfully, I could keep going and give this to one of my brothers, but I don't know how Targi wool is going to wear. So it's Targi, Targi, Targi. I don't know. Sorry if I'm wrong. I love it feels very different. And this is in a Yarn Cozy. The pattern is by Knitty Natty. Love this pattern, love Yarn Cozies. They are adorable. So that's one. my last whip. Well, not my last whip, one of my last whips and an acquisition, which I love. She also sent me, um, of course she sent me coffee. She sent me some like Notion goodies from her local yarn store. And then she sent me these felted soaps and they're like little stones. Excuse me. I have one by my kitchen sink already, but they just look like little stones and they're little soaps and I love them. And it cracked me up when I opened it because I also sent her soap. So it was really cute. Love, great minds think alike. <sighs> Take a big breath and then go into the rest of my acquisitions. Goodness. Oh, did we switch to acquisitions now? I thought you said you were ready for it. What else? Oh, were I don't know. I thought you had another whip, but yes, no, I'm ready. I'm fine. Well, it's a muscle bird cow. Mmm. <clears throat> This podcast is a little scatterbrained. Knit Picks had a once in a blue moon sale a week ago, two weeks ago. So I ordered a bunch of stuff. I got some Knit Picks dishy. So I only brought one of each color, but I got enough to do a three skein float tote, which is a pattern by Nitty Natty. This is the two skein float tote. I like it a lot. I've had a project going in it ever since I finished it. Um, so I'm gonna make a slightly larger one out of these. I think I'm gonna do kind of similar to this. I'll do like the light, this gray blue for the white and then the navy as the accent. My favorite thing about these is the little like insert that goes inside them for your stuff to sit on. 
and then it has like a little yarn cozy this one didn't fit so it's just resting in there but this bag's great so i bought yarn to make another and it was like crazy cheap in that sale so that was fantastic i posted about it on instagram i always do for nitpick sales so follow me if you want to watch for those and then Follow me if you want to watch for this. <laughs> so like, or you can follow nitpicks, but also follow Maddie. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. You're so rude. <laughs> <laughs> I bought some stuff from Arkansas Yarn Co. This is um, Night Owl Fibers in her I'll Be There For You colorway. So it's a friends themed yarn. And I love it. It's self striping It's really, really fun. I'm excited to cast this on. I didn't even see you get that one. That's funny. Yep. Snuck it out. It's really good. It's got good speckling. I'm a fan. I have two um, skeins of Night Owl Fibers. My other one is a Gilmore Girls colorway. I love a themed colorway. So, got those. <clears throat> I'm just really... Water? Coffee. Okay. Like, yeah. Your voice sounded dry, too. Um, I also have some Lolo Did It. Um, this next one is her Downton Abbey Club colorway. So if you also subscribe to that and don't want to see it, look away. I'm going to give you a second to close your eyeballs and I'll tell you when it's gone. But it's beautiful. I'm not going to talk about it because it would be a spoiler. It's on the screen. So pretty. I love it so much. This is my first month I've gotten this club and it's everything I wanted and more. And oh my gosh, even better like that. Okay, I'm putting it away. It's gone. Love that. And then Kristen got me a Lolo Did It skein um, in the Everyday Sock base. That one is um, the low original sock. This one's Everyday Sock, which is the 7525. And this is the colorway Narnia. And I love it. Did you say low original? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she calls it. I didn't make that I up. I love that. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm fine. Oh, goodness. <laughs> this is adorable. So Kristen got me that and I love it and I can't wait. I think I'm like pairing this. I'm putting together lots of different options for mm -hmm. the Stephen West MCAL. Um, assuming it's a five skin fade, which I'm optimistic it is. If it's not, I'll probably still be able to work from stash. But I've been playing around with different fades from my stash and this is definitely a contender in that. I love it. It's so pretty. It goes with everything I own. Is everyone else excited for the Stephen West MCAL? Because I think this is going to be the first year, I think, I think this is going to be the first year that I actually participate in. Yeah. It. I've knit two shawls from Stephen West. I don't know how many I've knit. But I have never <laughs> participated in the MCAL. Yeah. Really. So I think I might try. Yeah. It's we'll so see. good. Um, I'm going to do it. And I don't have any other shawls or sweaters on my needles. So I'm optimistic I might actually be able to get it done in the time frame. Um, that's my goal. I'm kind of paring down... My whips, I've cast on some socks, but that's just to hold me over till October 8th when I can start that. Um, my last acquisition, I'm in Nitty Natty's Love and Stitches membership, and I love it. And she coordinates swaps just about monthly. We've had one that you, that you can like opt in or opt out, and there are different levels of it. So this last one was a share a pair set inspired swap. Um, and I had two partners because there was an option, like if there were an odd number of participants, if you would take an extra. I was like, absolutely, yes. So I had two swap partners and one of my packages has arrived from Stephanie, my lovely friend Stephanie. This yarn's incredible. It's so pretty. We've been messaging back and forth about what we're gonna do with it. This one, I can't remember the dyer. I have the tag at home, I should have brought it. Um, but she said she got this in Europe, which is so sweet that she would get a skein of yarn in Europe and then give me half of it. Incredible, I'm so excited. And this one, funnily enough, is Arkansas Yarn Co. in Cast Iron Skillet <laughs> that she had in her stash, which makes me so happy. Um, I think I'm just going to stripe them together. They're going to look so good together. Yeah, exactly. Um, I sent her the Halloween yarns, so I split that into 50s and sent her Blueberry and then the Halloween Variegated, and we're going to do the Rainbow Connection socks from the Crazy Sock Lady Cute. together. <laughs> on those ones? On the Halloween ones? On the ones? Halloween ones, yes. Cute! I love this that. This will probably just do like two row stripes and alternate, but we're going to make a match, which I think is really fun. That's so cute. Um, and then my other swap partner should be getting her package on Monday, so I'll be able to talk about her yarn next week. I'm excited. I don't want to spoil it for her, though. So that's my last acquisition. It makes me so happy. Yay! I only have, I think, two. 
non-clay acquisition. <laughs> Because I did buy like more clay. I stuff forgot about the clay. Because I'm ridiculous. I'm actually not even very good at it. I don't have like professional tools for the clay, the polymer clay stitch markers. Um, so I'm just like using whatever I have on hand. But um, Alexandra, which last week I said Alexandria like 20 times and I just wanted to die. How humiliating. Uh... <laughs> I might have to cut that out. <laughs> Drink. So, since we're deleting this, <laughs> I mean, we're not deleting this. Don't do anything ugly. I don't want to have to delete it. Um, so yes, Alexandra from Viberbound. Um, she had made little stitch markers. They were so cute. And I was like, oh, same. I'm doing it. So I ordered all the stuff from Amazon. I showed it last week and ended up ordering more, getting more. Um, and I've only made three stitch markers, two of which I broke. Um, <laughs> But I really love the idea of making these stitch markers. So I haven't made that, I haven't spent that much money on it, but <laughs> I don't believe you. I haven't. It's like under a hundred bucks uh, <laughs> for the two stitch markers or one stitch marker that works and two that are broken. Classic. Um, learning. I'm learning. $30 a stitch marker. Mm -hmm. You're pricey. Yeah. And then two of them broke. So <laughs> I'm not good. <laughs> But I did buy more of that stuff. I'm just not showing it because it's all now in its own little space for when I'm ready to make more stitch markers. I love it. I think I want to try and go more simple. I want to come over and make stitch markers. I love the potted cactus I have, the one that survived. I don't know if I brought it with me, but it's very cute. Cactus. The surviving cactus because it's a cactus, so it'll never die. Um, but the potted plant I did that was really cute with the little leaves, dead. She gone. The leaves came off. My cat ate one. I'm hoping that that's not a hospital bill later, but... Um, yeah, and then I got, I've, I got some yarn. So <laughs> great. Let's let's just move this, off that one. Was Milo loaded it for um, why I bought Maddie yarn? Was I, there's no like shipping reasons or anything why I purchased you yarn? I was just like, oh, I'm getting some Lolo did it. Maddie shall have some too. I do that all the time. I did that today. I was buying it. <laughs> I was like, oh, this one's for Kristen. Yeah, this, like, yeah. We both do that constantly. This was again on the everyday sock because I looked at the um makeup of it and that seemed more accurate to what we want what this is 75 25 so i'm not going to show this on camera so, oh yeah this is an 85 15 the low yeah. original so which the, is closer to the arkansas yarn coat base and the everyday yarn. sock is 75 25 and this was advertised on her instagram as being like oh we're gonna retire at end of summer blah 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 and i was like <gasps> hmm? must have this one's called pocket full of sunshine and it looks like me and so it does look like a lot of yarn i already have but i love it so welcome home baby <laughs> <laughs> welcome home baby <laughs> welcome home baby um then the other thing i bought was Yay! Bags. More oh snap bags. <laughs> I bought two. Well, it's one. I bought one set of the extra large and the extra extra large, which is the size I prefer. Um, the <gasps> small, medium, large ones. The small is not even usable. The, it's not. It's not. It's notions at most. I actually have it full of ends, like yarn ends. That I. I don't know why. Why I'm saving them. But they're in a tiny little bag. You're in a tiny bag. You need I to know. Use. And so then I have the medium, which can fit like. <laughs> one sock at a time mm -hmm. seriously it's small and then the large can fit both socks but those are kind of pointless if you're gonna buy them i recommend the extra the large, extra large. Extra. yeah unless you find a local yarn store where they have the like medium one that has the handle that one i love i can fit a sock in it but then it has a, handle. a large one with a handle no oh really these are from jimmy beans wool they're great we love them yes she loves them more i love them the most um but you know the other thing I bought this week was tea, which isn't really yarn related, but I brought this to show because look at this adorable little mm -hmm. tin. I got a little sample pack simply because I wanted to keep the tins and fill them with notions after. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and I was close to free shipping, so I was like, yeah, I'll get some tea. It's delicious. This is from the tea shop, which is a site, or the tea spot. It's a tea shop online and I really like it. Um, but look how cute this little metal tin is. This will be filled with notions. It will be in my bag or on my desk. I have six of them. So cute. This tea was blood orange smoothie. I put it what? in my Ziploc. I was like, are you done with it already? <laughs> no, I've had one cup and I loved it. It's rubious orange peel, hibiscus, rose hips, safflowers, rose petals, natural orange and vanilla flavoring. 
and it was so yummy. It is so yummy. You just describing that tea made me think of a place. It was not a health food place, but it was like a healthier restaurant, like a natural restaurant. It's called Rutabagas, Rutabagors, um, because it was G-O-R-Z at the end. Um, but it was in like this old, um, like Victorian house, not Victorian, but I, yeah, it was Victorian. I was like, it's in Orange County, but it was so good. You'd go in this little house and they had like these giant, salad bowls like the bowl is huge I know you love that but they were like mm -hmm. like kitchen mixing bowls mm -hmm. full of salad and that was your individual salad yes, and just you just describing that tea just took me back to that place that's so weird I sorry go there absolutely if you we ever visit my hometown then yes we will go to Ruta Bagores so that good sounds so yummy I love that um sorry wow. tangent love that what's this stuff did you talk about this um that's gonna be future cast on oh, okay cool um, do you want to talk about that or do you want to go into MCALs? Uh, I guess I'll just do my future cast yeah, right now. I don't have any. I wasn't sure what I was going to cast on today. Um, and I did have this extra <sighs> sock to do, my Halloween sock. But I was going to cast on Vanilla's The New Black with this Knit Pick Stroll Glimmer in the color. I think this is just Marine Heather. I don't know. Sapphire Heather. Huh. Sapphire Heather, she's so pretty. I gave Jana the other colorway I got of this, which was the blush, it was a light, light pink, and she just finished her socks. So I was like, I've never done a solid sock, a solid colored I sock. I don't have either. So I want to try it and see what it looks. And so I was like, well, I'll do the vanilla is the new black pattern because I feel like that would look really good on a solid sock. So that is what I'm gonna do with that. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna cast that on today. So I brought it just in case. In case of just in case, but now we're pretty much done, right? I guess now it's MCALs and giveaways. Yeah, MCALs and giveaways. So let's talk about the MCALs we have starting, and then we'll talk about the ones that are ending and announce giveaway winners. So hang on, everyone. I feel like that's backwards, but yes, let's do it. I just <laughs> want to make the winners wait. Oh, okay. No, I'm kidding. We can do the winners first. I, I just I'm like close it and then open okay. it. You know, close it. Yeah, close it and then open it. Okay. okay so first off, the <laughs> So our team out in today, yeah, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's your way or the highway. But <laughs> the summer team out ends today, August Sunday, Sunday August 29th. I'm so backwards today. August Sunday. Um. Oh gosh. So we drew winners earlier. So are you gonna put the names on the screen? I can. Okay. So we drew winners from the Ravelry FO thread, which is what we said we we're gonna do all along. The prizes in particular, um, I don't have like the packages here to show, but we've gotten prizes donated from several people. We'll we've both put them kind on the of, screen. Yeah, we've both um, contributed like from stash and purchase and things to prizes. So we'll put together some prize packages. We have two winners from the Ravelry thread. The first one is uh, Sarah Gaddis. We're pretty sure you're Sarah Gaddis because you don't have any of your information in Ravelry. But your name on Ravelry is at the bottom of the screen. It's Mommy Gaddis. Yes. Gaddis. 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 We think you're Sarah. <laughs> if you're not Sarah, sorry Sarah for getting your hopes up, Mommy Gaddis, message us. Yes. Um, and just send us a message, let us know that it's about the intel. And you'll have to send your address. <laughs> I can't talk. Yes, okay. <laughs> yes, you can message us. You can email us at we sure needles podcast at gmail.com or message us um, on our Instagram, we share needles. That's it, on Instagram. And or on yes. Ravelry to either of us personally. Yeah. So just let us know you won and send us your address and we'll get your prize package out to you. Sarah, mm -hmm. congratulations. I almost said mommy. <laughs> humiliating. It's terrible. It's like calling your teacher mommy Mom. or, or like saying I love you. And I quit. <laughs> when I worked, my last job I was a recruiter. I worked in human resources and when I'd be interviewing people, it happened a handful of times. So at the end of the call, people would say, okay, love you. Oh no. You, Maddie has the best stories from her time as a recruiter. <laughs> oh, it's so, oh, it was crazy. Terrible. But those always made me so happy. And if it was a good interview, I tried extra hard to get that person a job because they love me. They love her. <laughs> So good. Um, the second winner of the summer tea mouth is Shane. Shane Enoch is your rivalry name. I don't know if that's your last name or not. I am okay. Congratulations, Shane. You're gonna get a prize too. Message us, email us, do something. 
DM us, yeah. send us a letter. Carry your kidding. pigeon. A carry your pigeon would work. <laughs> yeah. However you contact us, we will contact you with a prize afterwards. Woo woo. Woohoo. Um, and I'll put the pictures in here probably. Boom, boom. Those are your prizes. You don't know which one you're getting. They're Surprise! Different. Sorry. <laughs> we should be better at this, but this is our first like actual big one, right? I feel like that's the spot in the day idea, yeah. but that's fine. Uh, sure. Sure. Like, and then on episode 17, we hit a thousand subscribers Yay. and we did a 1k giveaway. We did. So right before this episode, we hopped on to a random comment generator. I'm going to read the comment. And the winner of our 1K giveaway is Ryan the Yarn Hag. Yeah, who was in our Zoom call. She so was in our Zoom call. That's hilarious. So that is so exciting. Ryan, your comment was, online shopping's never a problem. I think your catchphrases are, it's lovely and super cute. I wonder how many times we call said us that. out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really, really loving watching your fun personalities, friendly banter, and endless encouragement. Congrats on one grand. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you. We appreciate it. And again, message us. We've got a prize for you. We're so excited. That's all the winners we've got. That's all the winners. Uh, so those are closed. You. We done. We done with those. Um, I, I mean, the 1K giveaway was just one. Yeah. You know, it was just which that is still so crazy. But whenever we're done filming, I'm going to close the Ravelry threads. I should have done that before we started filming, but mm -hmm. I didn't. So I'm going to close okay. them now. And then we're going to open a couple more. Well, yeah. actually, they both open on the first, right? Yes. Yes. They do. So we have two make-alongs that are starting on September 1st. Yay. One of them, the Ravelry Thread's already open for some chatter. Um, the first one is our Spooky Stitches Mal. We talked about Ooh, briefly yeah. on the last episode. That one is September 1st through October 17th, I think, was the date we chose. I want to say that's the date I remember because we want to give you guys time to get some spooky Halloween stuff before Halloween. Yeah. And so yes, it shouldn't take me two weeks, but you know, I don't know how long y'all will. We want you to be able yeah. to use your Halloween goodies um, on Halloween if you want, if you want, if yeah. you win. So that one is a make along. So knit, crochet, sew, embroidery, spin. I don't care. Whatever Make you some want. spooky stitch markers. Do some spooky stuff. Um, and then enter. We've got Ravelry threads open. We'll have a chatter and an FO thread. Yay. And this thread we are, or this make long, we are collaborating with Arkansas Yarn Co. with the Arkansas Yarn Cast ladies. So they will also have threads going in conjunction in their own Ravelry. And over on Arkansas Yarn Cast threads, if you use Arkansas Yarn Co. yarn, you get double entries for prizes. Um, Is that in our studio? No, that's just in there. That was just in there. But you can cross post. Yes, post that's in both. The and then basically yeah. you get triple entries for yeah. using Arkansas Yarn Co. yarn. So I'm excited to see what you guys make. The ladies of the Arkansas Yarn Cast have been planning socks and sweaters and spooky things, which is really exciting. I think that we're gonna do a like like a not a collab post, but like a like a brain meld. What do you call that? Like, no just inspiration idea. post of several patterns that we've been messaging back and forth. Yeah. Jessa over at um, the Arkansas She's Yarn Cast, yeah. she loves spooky shit. She loves it. She's so, so into Halloween. Yeah. So this is her jam. <laughs> She's definitely a spooky stitch. <laughs> so we're excited. I feel like um, we'll just post a couple as inspo for the next couple days before the podcast is released. So you'll probably see that before you see this. Yeah. So, and <laughs> Kristen has said that her sock pattern will be free if you want yes. to knit that for the Spooky Stitches now. Yes. You don't get extra entries, but you do get this pattern for free. So, yay. And I'll be knitting my Rainbow Connection socks with my new friend Stephanie and that Halloween yarn. Um, and yeah, so all that info is over on Ravelry and our Instagram. So go check that out for the Spooky Stitches now. And if you're planning on entering, like, leave a comment below yeah. and give us some info. Like, if you've already got an idea of what you're doing or if you know of a dyer who has spooky colorways yes. listed already, like, let's, like, help each other out. Because I'm not sure anyone keeps Halloween colors. Like, I use mine, you know? Like, oh, I've had, I have Halloween in stash. I'm excited. All of the mm -hmm. Halloween yarn I bought last year. I have that I'm That's true. This year. Well, yeah. And so, like, this is from last year's Halloween from Arkansas Yarn Co. I already used it. I bought the sock set and then I bought the um, big skeins, the original skeins. So, I made a uh, cowl with it, a brioche cowl to practice my brioche. Mm -hmm. And I made another pair of socks, like a long pair of socks, with the sock set um, that had afterthought everything. And. Yeah, I feel like that's it. That's all I made with that. But I still have plenty left. Like, this is still what I have left of my big skein. 
and I have I think less of the of the monster mash colorway. But monster mash. Yeah. I've been trying to figure that name for days. Monster I need to mash. type Stephanie and tell her what it's called because <laughs> she asked. Yes, monster mash. So if you guys have any ideas of patterns or yarn colorways or I don't know anything that you want to talk about regarding that mal leave it in the comments below so that people can like interact um i know not everyone has ravelry so we're trying to be more inclusive of people who don't use ravelry and have you know that still want to communicate and participate yeah, still chat. Like, you know you still want to be in the community but highly recommend getting instagram if you yeah. don't have ravelry especially lots of communication over there on our page and everybody's pages i feel like so that is Spooky Stitches Mal. I hope you're excited. We are. We are. And we have one more Mal coming up with almost the same time frame. <laughs> yeah, pretty darn similar. <laughs> so cross post. Use Spooky Yarn and do them in both. Yes. So the, that is our Muscleberg Mal, Yay. which we are using the hashtag show us your muscles. Like that. Sure. I don't have any. Don't look. Stop. But M U S S E L S. <laughs> show yes. us your muscles Mal is our. Um, well, this one's a cow. Show us your muscles, cow, because the muscle bird hat is knit. knit. So yes. we're not trying to exclude you crocheters. Sorry. Join in the spooky stitches mal instead. Yes. This but one's a cow. It's any any muscle bird of any weight, any size. You make a muscle yes, bird. You in. post it in the group. Let's do it. And that one we are co-hosting with the Crafted Pearl, who's our friend Jennifer Jen. from episode 16. She is wonderful. She's in Alabama. Hey, and Jennifer. She'll have her own thread as well. She just started her Ravelry group, so we'll need you guys to hop on over there. Um, we'll Check have all of that linked below. Um, and I think we'll have some infographics going up before the podcast comes out Monday and Tuesday. Yes. So we should be, all the information should be on Instagram and probably on Ravelry. YouTube. Since we have the community page now, we can put it on YouTube as well. Which is great. And for the muscle rig mouth, both of our cows, mouths and cows, are whips allowed. So that's a non issue. Go ahead and get started. I did. Um, so I barely cast on a muscle rig because I just wanted to get it started the other night. But I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to knit on my muscle rigs. One of them, here's the little tiny beginning mm -hmm. of my muscle rig. Lori would hate it. No, she wouldn't because it has a story. Yeah, but it's brown. But it has a story. Yeah. So this yarn. I have the tag. Let me grab it. Is Beachy Breeze Fibers, and she um I don't remember her name. The dyer behind Beachy Breeze Beachy Breeze Fibers um, dyed up this colorway for a friend of mine who let me know it existed, which was really exciting. Um, in a coyote brown colorway, which my husband can wear in military uniform, um, which is so so cool. Um, they're restricted, of course, to like what colors and things they can wear when they're in uniform. And this is a very specific brown that he can wear. So I'm going to make him a Musselberg. I reached out to Beachy Breeze um, after one of my friends let me know about the colorway. And then we talked back and forth and she got me two skeins of it, which is so sweet. So I've cast on this little tiny Musselberg for my husband. And I'll make one for one of his friends, I think, after as well, because I have a second skein. So that's my first Musselberg. I'm really excited. I do my Musselberg's fingering weight on a 2.5 needle. Um, just because that's the gauge I prefer. But check out that pattern, it's a good one. And then my second muscle bark, I'm gonna do two, is the one I'm doing to match Kristen and Jen. <laughs> well, now we're all matching each other. It's not like we're doing it without you. We're all three doing it. You said you're well, gonna yeah. match Kristen to match and you Jen. Guys. Yes. yes. Yeah, the three of us are gonna match. Anyway, this is uh, Arkansas Yarn Co. in her signature high twist in Dora the Destroyer. And I love it. Blue and purple, very, very good. And I'll be casting that on as soon as I have this magic loop needle free of the first muscle berg, so I can cast it on. So, are you just doing the Dory the Destroyer muscle berg, or what are Probably. your Probably, I don't think I'm planning on doing more than one because, um, you know, ambition's high, motivation low. Yeah. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> so enough, I'm gonna enough. try and keep my expectations like minimal for this one so that I'll actually finish it. I actually finished Musclebergs pretty quickly. I've already made two in the past. I've used both of those, I think were, no, no, one of them wasn't. I really wanted to make Musclebergs out of all my yarnable colorways because they knit up so good in the Musclebergs. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm gonna use Dora the Destroyer. Oh my gosh, I had one more yarn that I purchased. 
forgot about it. Did I bring it with me? Anyway, yes, I'm gonna oh, do that. Did you buy? I bought a, a, another roller derby yarn from Lori. Oh, I didn't know that. I did. Addendum. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Dora the Destroyer is a roller derby color from Arkansas Yarn Co. She did like a whole series of these like really cute ones. So now I have Dora the Destroyer, Anita Workout, which is really cute. And this one's called Butt Bustin' Betty. And she's so cute. I don't know. I've never knit in just black and white like this before. So I'm hoping it's going to be really cute as socks. But like if I knit it and it's not cute as socks, it's going to be a muscle work. Yeah, it would be really cute with like neon heel toe cuff. That's what I was thinking, because I had a hot pink. That'd be really, really like, good. Hmm, maybe. <coughs> or a Musselberg. And maybe I'd do the inside a different color. Ooh. Like a I half like and it. half. Mm hmm. Hmm. I've been thinking about that a lot. That's about fun. Doing a half and half Musselberg. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like so, it a lot. Musselbergs are great hats. If you haven't checked out that pattern, you definitely should. It's a staple. It is a pay for pattern and you get every size and every you weight. so much out of the like seven bucks or whatever. I've knit three of them so far and I see myself knitting many, many more. I'm wondering if that's how European patterns are written because the mama vertebrae, Lori was working on that and she was like, can you help me highlight my stuff? But I looked at it and I was like, that's the awesome. Yeah, the baby vertebrae is the same awesome. way. It's so many sizes. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. And it's like... Not just so many sizes, but it tells you like how to get your gauge, and then it gives you instructions for all different weights of yarn, all different sizes, gauges, so all different gauges. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. That's it's a cool fantastic. way to do it. And she, and it. But it is European that pattern because it was all in meters, and hmm. she was like, "What? Interesting. Meters and in like ounces or something?" And I was like, "I don't know." Like, <laughs> so I had to ask Google like every five seconds, "What is thirty-five meters in yards?" Like, <laughs> love it. That's so funny. Yes. So those are our mouths and cows. And, yeah. and then now uh, is that it? Are we going to do chatter? Let's do a little chatter. I want to talk about a couple podcasts I started watching this weekend that were really, really good. Um, so the first one, Kristen recommended to me Professor Pearl. And I'm now caught up. I binged all of her podcasts yesterday, I think. she's I think she has four. Um, and they're amazing. And I love her. And she's so sweet. And she talks a lot about her local yarn store. And I I felt, I guess, how people probably feel watching us. Where, like, the entire video, I just had her local yarn store's website up and was adding stuff to my cart. Like, I was so enabled. I bought so much stuff. Like, everything she recommended, I purchased. I can't wait for that to come in. Um, and she just seems like she has so much in common with us. She's our people. She's so, so good. It's like episode one. I was like, um, hello, this is our people. Um, she's already talked about stress knits and she's talked about my favorite book of all time, which I've never seen, Koftaboken, which is a Norwegian color work sweater knitting book that I've been obsessed with. Started learning Norwegian so I could freaking read this pattern book and then could not find the pattern book anywhere. Nowhere. I was like, Amazon, no. I was like, Amazon Norway? I was literally on the Koftaboken manufacturer website and they were, they don't sell. They only wholesale. So I was like, well, how am I going to find this friggin' book? She was like waiting she to make a like, Norwegian friend. Hi, <laughs> this is a book I got. And I was like, where'd you get the book? And she was like, wall of yarn. And, and I think it's just Wisconsin maybe. Yeah. And so I was like, thank you. And I went to the, I was yelling at my phone, watching her and I messaged her back and forth and she's really, really sweet. So yes, yes we love her. Yes. Awesome. Big fan. I'm excited for my mail. Um, some good stuff she recommended to me. And then today I finally started watching This Nanny Knits. I've been behind. I've been meaning to watch um, her. Why did her name just completely slip my head? I know Lucy. I, I was about to say I know her name. Okay. Lucy. She's a nanny in, um, I don't know if she's in London. She's in the Europe area and she's adorable and I love her. And she's like, seven episodes in and I think I'm on episode four or five right now catching up and she's knitting my string of heart socks which made me so happy uh, but she uses a ton of woolly mama yarn so I texted Kristen while I was watching I was like you've got to check this out like you you would be so enabled by this I love it so just, you, did you say she's in Manchester no oh, that's someone she? else you still you told me about someone who's in Manchester and I was like oh she's by woolly mama that wasn't her that was someone else yeah I don't remember I don't remember who that was mm -hmm. Anywho, um, those are the two podcasts I've been loving the most this week. I'm trying to be better about watching people's podcasts. I'm not great at that. <laughs> you watch podcasts. You just watch like the 
trusty old favorites. Like yeah. Nitty Natty. You haven't missed a Crazy Sock Lady yet, have you? No. That's yeah. true. I keep up with those two, but it's like, I just don't find time for more outside of those two hours a week. Right. And like finding ones that like fit your, your needs in a dating podcast are so hard. Like, I feel like the podcasts we watch are not like our podcast. Like our podcast <laughs> it's just chaotic. I don't know. It's not mm -hmm. like you like a nice, calm cup of coffee and some sweet voices. That's not us. That's not, you know, it ain't gonna happen over here. But the podcasts we like are still really good. They're mm -hmm. just, you know, a different vibe. Um, I really like Professor Pearl. I think I started watching Hooks, Books, and Yarn. I don't know if it's books, hooks, and yarn, or which yeah. way it goes. She's in Australia. I think she's been recommended by both Fiberbound and Sean. And um, she's really, really, really sweet. And she talked about your pattern, too, because Fiberbound was knitting it. Mm -hmm. And um, I just started hers, but she definitely is super-duper sweet, but it was very quiet. And I was like, this is, you know, if I'm in a chill, quiet zone that's what I need but when I'm like at work listening to a podcast I need someone high energy or I'll be I'll be asleep it's oh just my that's gonna happen to me so if you guys know any other high energy podcasts like let me know I need some high energy um because <laughs> it's it's yeah it's it's a struggle to stay awake these days <laughs> I'm having a hard time but I've been watching so many new podcasts and I don't know. I feel like people keep recommending them to mm -hmm. us. Um, la I think three weeks ago or three episodes ago, so like six weeks ago, we had asked for some um, Netflix shows and stuff like that and wo worst and weight hat patterns and um, podcasts. And we got a whole bunch. And so I started, I subscribed to all of the ones that we were suggested to. And then I've just been watching them as they come. Like, okay, let's try this one out. Try this one out. We keep trying to talk Savannah into starting her own podcast. Sad Stitches. We Sad love Stitches. Her. Yes. We met her on Zoom. Do you want to talk about Zoom Knit Night? Yeah, we had our two Zoom Knit Nights, Friday and Saturday. And they were great. They were really, really fun. We had a good turnout. Um, yeah, I don't know. They were just fun. We all, everybody just kind of chatted and hung out and... It was great. Definitely check those out if you just want like some knitting friends. If you don't have that group in your town or or if that group is kind of delayed because of COVID, it's a great alternative to that. To just kind of be in the presence of ever, other knitters and talk about your knitting. It's really fun. Yeah, it was definitely fun. Mm -hmm. Um we did we ended up going for like way longer than we way thought. Longer. Yeah. <laughs> Which was really nice. Um because we did we just got to chat. A bunch of different people hopped on and off and it was just really really sweet i like meeting people aquila and johnny bow hopped on they were camping yeah maddie punched me I in the arm like, oh my god she's like oh my god you see that i'm like yes i see that be chill like, there's no chill in here we're not chill um <laughs> i'm usually the more chill one but i was so excited oh uh, now we're like kind of exhausted like maddie's naturally an introvert and i am i'm not an introvert but i'm like a socially anxious extrovert which really sucks yeah. Because I do need a lot of, like, human contact to feel well, but then, like, I get overwhelmed. So, I'm in, like, a real anxious swing right now. And Maddie's, like, my social socialometer is just out. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, we won't be able to do those that often. Not, it's such a big group. Yeah. I think on one of them, we had, like, 20 people. Maybe just not two in a weekend. Even yeah. That was great. I think in the future, we'll just kind of alternate do them more regularly, but have like one evening and one daytime alternating. Yeah. Um, Cause I think that's what it was for me. It was just a lot, a lot room. of like things happening in one weekend. And I just am a little overwhelmed by that. Yes. <laughs> but it was really, really fun. And I'm glad we did it this time. And we learned that we'll just do it a little more spaced out next time. So we're both our best self for both of them. So we don't seem like exhausted in the second one. That's, not, that's just not fair that people were there. I liked the second one because it was just chill. Like it was more quiet. There was less, people it was I don't know sun, or Saturday afternoon so I hadn't really done a lot that day like Friday was a big day for me and then I had to do that on top of it mm -hmm. and then like last weekend we did sock class and then a full week of work and then two nights of zoom knitting and then church in the morning and then podcast filming we're tired. we're tired <laughs> <laughs> so but it's definitely nice I feel like we got a lot done I finished half sock you finished like a sock Sock and a half, two socks? Yeah, those Georgias, I was basically just at the ribbing on both of them, mm -hmm. and um, they're basically done. So that's really exciting. I've done a lot of knitting this weekend. I'm loving DK socks, y'all. Like, this was just a cuff when we sat down to film. I've done that much just filming. 
love them. If you haven't done DK socks yet, um, I know, I think the Crazy Sock Lady has a free DK vanilla pattern. I'm just kind of fudging it, but um, they're really, really fast. I'm using a US 3. I love them. They're so pretty too. She's that stress since yarn, man. I cannot believe it. I just want to use it all up. I love it. Mm -hmm. I have, I'm going to have a couple grams left of every color. So I might just do like scrappy cozies or something next. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Love it. Mm -hmm. So that's Zoom Knit Nights. Any chatter for you? Oh, I don't remember the last two weeks. I don't even know what I would chatter about. I didn't finish any projects and I worked a lot and my house is hot. Your house is hot, but it's going to get better because they finally trusted you. <laughs> Um, this morning at church, I've been struggling with going to church, um, during the pandemic. Um, I get like, I have health anxiety really, really bad. Like my health anxiety is like pretty extreme. Like I'm constantly yeah. thinking there's something, something terribly wrong. wrong and I'm a bit of a hypochondriac and I see a therapist about it and we, you know, have methods, but, um, having, uh, to like, not having to, but being around children, and especially now that they're going back to school at church, I was like, okay, I gotta really think about this because I love it. I love teaching Sunday school. It's like one of my favorite things I get to do and it's only for a couple hours a week. So I don't, even when it's taxing, I'm like, I wanna do it. But you have to weigh that risk versus reward. I have to weigh it. So I have like been very emotional about whether or not I'm gonna continue doing it. And so I made today my test round of like whether or not I'm gonna continue doing it through the school year. And today went really, really well, but I'm still hesitant. Yeah. Um, I did, I had very few uh, students. I only teach, our church is pretty big. And so the classrooms are set up by age. So I only have three year olds and that's been the whole entire time. And today I had seven three-year-olds, one of which was my niece, and it wasn't that bad. And we did have a kid that had like a little sniffle, you know? And so we have our preventative measures to, to take her temperature, check allergies, do all that kind of stuff. And I felt okay today, but I still don't know if I'm going to continue it. And it's making me really sad because mm -hmm. um, I love working with kids, but this sucks. The pandemic sucks. It completely sucks. And we, stopping it now doesn't mean stopping it forever. It's true. You it's can just, step back and then when you're more comfortable, you can step back in. And I just, it's hard feeling like so attached to my church and like, and, and knowing that I'm leaving them in a lurch basically, but I do have to do what's right for like our health and yeah, for your health and your mental health. And yeah, mm -hmm, absolutely. So that's been a real big struggle on my mind. And today I thought would be like, okay, I'm going to know what I'm supposed to do. And I don't because I had a really small classroom and they were very sweet. And the other teacher in the classroom is very clean and she's very, like, they're very health conscious. So it's not like, you know, there's no precautions, but we, I just started freaking out. But then this little boy who has been super duper shy for the last year, he's gonna he's gonna age out of my class soon. His name is Rowan and he's the sweetest, but he's always really shy, he usually cries when his parents drop him off and has to warm up and then asks for his parents like at halfway point, he's like, where are my mom and dad? Um, but today he didn't cry when he got dropped off. He gave me a big smile. He played really, really well. Um, and he even came up to me and he's like pretty nonverbal. Yeah. He came up to me and he said, I have a pig at my house. His name is trash can. And I was like, thank you child for, for that you information. Just, you just made me so happy. And he said, I also have a rooster. And I was like, what is the rooster's name? Please God, tell me. And he said, his name is Mohawk Willie. And I was like, okay, so do I just continue to go to church? Is this the sign? Yeah, because, like just because this kid talked to you about his Yeah, Yes, his and he can. was so eloquent. And I was like, you know, I'm not a teacher. I'm a Bible school teacher. So it's not like that's because of me, but like getting to see like a kid like develop, I was like, do I need to switch careers? But then I'm like, I'm not going to become a teacher in a pandemic. Yeah, bad time to do that. Yeah. But man, do I love it. And it was really sad thinking and still thinking that I probably shouldn't. So mm. boo, get vaccinated. <laughs> Please, everyone. <laughs> okay, that's it. Mm. <laughs> but, um... Thanks for putting up with our chaos. Yes. We love you guys. Yes, we do. This has been really fun. Love yes, it. Absolutely. <sighs> we can't wait to see what you're knitting for the Spooky Stitches Mal and the Muscle Bird Cow. Let us know um, what you're working on. Use the hashtags on Instagram. Tag us. 
love it love it love it love i think it. that's all we got that's it we'll see you next time two yeah. weeks see you in two weeks y'all have a great one bye, bye. <laughs>